Okay, now uh, radius of curvature in polar coordinates. Sir, yesterday's proof is important. Yes, yesterday. Proof you have thought, yes. No, no, that proofs are just proof. Uh, proof is not important, but problems are important. Formula and problems. Okay. Okay. Sir. Okay. okay sir. Right, right. Radius of curvature. See, it is uh, because see we, we have very long syllabus. And uh, what is our last working day? Last day of class work is 27th March. Right? So, uh, and we have almost three more units. All those three units are very lengthy. So, let me finish qu quickly. Radius of curvature for a polar curve. For a polar curve. Polar curve always represented by R equal to function of theta r equal to function of theta is radius of curvature for a polar curve r equal to f of theta is what is the radius of curvature notation rho equal to this is r square plus r1 square r1 stands for dr by d theta i will write whole power 3 by 2 whole by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r r2 r r2 here uh, r is nothing but function of theta original function and r1 is dr by d theta r derivative with respect to theta r2 is the second derivative d square r by d theta square this is radius of curvature in polar coordinates radius of curvature in polar coordinates now another one uh, circle of convergence is the center of curvature next one is center of curvature center of curvature at any point at any point p x comma y uh, on the curve y equal to f of x on the curve on the curve y equal to f of x is center of curvature you know with radius rho with this rho radius of curvature if i put a point on the normal and uh, draw a circle with radius rho then it is a called circle of curvature and the corresponding point is called center of curvature and the coordinates of center of curvature is x bar comma y bar given by x bar equal to x minus y1 plus 1 plus y1 square by y2 y1 y2 stands for first derivative and second derivative y bar equal to y plus 1 plus y1 square 1 plus y1 square by y2 these are the coordinates of center of curvature center of curvature and uh, okay after uh, before going to evaluate let me complete the problems based on these three topics center of curvature radius of curvature okay now the first problem is find the radius of curvature find the radius of curvature radius of curvature at the point radius of curvature at the point a comma 0 at the point a comma 0 on the curve a comma 0 on the curve x y square equal to a cube minus x cube x y square equal to a cube minus x cube okay first uh, what is the solution solution first right what is the given curve given curve is curve c is x y square equal to a q minus x q and remember what is the radius of curvature formula a general formula radius of curvature general formula radius 
of curvature is a rho equal to what is the formula rho equal to 1 plus y1 square whole power 3 by 2 by y2 y1 square whole power 3 by 2 by y2 so i have to calculate y1 that means dy by dx and uh, next one y2 d square y by dx square okay so first one um diff x y square equal to a q minus x q to find y1 differentiate with respect to x differentiate with respect to x what i'm having uv method first one y square x derivative one y square as it is x as it is 2 y y1 okay equal to a cube 0 minus 3 x square minus 3 x square okay so what is y1 value finally i need y1 now so this is 2 x y y1 equal to minus 3 x square minus 3 x square minus y square minus y square so y1 equal to y1 equal to minus 3 x square y square minus 3 x square y square whole by 2 x y 2 x y now to simplify this let us, i know the value of y square i know the value of y square substitute here y1 equal to uh, i'm getting in terms of y right okay y1 equal to minus 3x square and what is y square value from equation of the curve from equation of the curve a cube minus x cube by x minus a cube minus x cube by x whole by 2xy 2xy so if i simplify this i'm getting minus 3x cube minus a cube plus x cube whole by 2x square y 2x square y so this is equal to minus this one this is minus 2x cube minus 2x cube uh, right mm, minus a cube by 2x square y 2x square y is it correct any corrections dy by dx equal to what i have to get minus a cube by 2x square y right okay uh, minus a cube by 2x square y and uh, minus 2x by minus yeah minus x by y this is dy by dx this is y1 equal to dy by dx and what is the point required radius of curvature is at what point at point a comma zero so calculate every derivative at a comma zero calculate every derivative at a comma zero so what is this becomes uh, just wait and uh, here what you will get this is if i put a comma zero this is a zero okay let me write y1 at a zero y1 at a zero what is this becomes this is minus 2 a cube minus a cube by zero that means goes to infinity goes to infinity the slope is tending to infinity the slope is tending to infinity okay therefore see this is my anyway problem whenever i calculate the derivative dy by dx from the equation of the curve and it is undefined then you express the actually what is the equation of the curve y equal to f of x and we have for y equal to f of x what is the row value this one plus y1 square whole power three by two by y2 where y1 stands for dy by dx this is for the curve dy by y equal to f of x but for the curve y equal to f of x if y1 is undefined y1 is undefined then then express this curve as x equal to function of y x equal to function of y rewrite this equation as x equal to function of y then row value now this becomes what one plus 
you will write x1 square whole power 3 by 2 by x2 where x1 stands for what dx by dy x2 stands for d square x by dy square just interchange okay so in, therefore here you write since since y1 at a comma 0 is tends to infinity we express we express the given curve we express the given curve as x equal to some function of y x equal to some function of y therefore what is that becomes x equal to some function of y and what is the equation of the curve x y square equal to a q minus x q then then what is dx by dy already we calculated dy by dx it is here dy by dx is here just reverse it dx by dy what you will get 2 2 x square y minus 2 x square y by what is this expression minus 2 x cube 2 x cube plus a cube this is dx by dy this is dx by dy okay then dx by dy uh, minus 2x cube 2xy by 3 3x square or 2x square uh, let me calculate this okay before finalizing dx by dy this is the equation of the curve then differentiate with respect to y differentiate with respect to y then what i'm getting differentiate with respect to y means uv method dx by dy into y square plus now x as it is this is 2y that's it differentiating with respect to y y square derivative 2y and uh, what is this differentiating with respect to y this is 0 minus 3x square dx by dy 3x square dx by dy now take dx by dy terms together and take common this is y square and this one comes to left side this is plus 3x square equal to remaining part is minus 2xy right this is equal to what is dx by dy is value now minus 2xy by uh, this is y square plus 3x square this is dx by dy now uh, evaluate this dx by dy uh, what is the required point a comma 0 the required point is a comma 0 so what is this is 0 you are getting right at a comma 0 this y value 0 therefore we are getting 0 now from this again calculate one more derivative with respect to y y u by v method v into v v this is v denominator into u derivative with respect to y oh again 2xy so minus 2 uh, x i am taking constant y derivative 1 next minus 2 dx by dy x derivative and y constant this is u derivative is over minus minus into minus plus 2xy and dv by dx uh, denominator derivative with respect to y 2y plus 6x into dx by dy 6x into dx by dy whole by this y square plus 3x square whole square y square plus 3x square whole square now don't simplify because we have to evaluate this double derivative at the point a comma 0 so substitute the point directly y value 0 x value a this first part is over and uh, minus 2a y value 0 therefore 0 plus y value 0 therefore entirely 0 this is 3a uh, square whole square you will get so what is this answer 3a square minus 6 a cube by uh, 9 a power 4 therefore this implies y2 at a comma 0 y2 at a comma 0 is what uh, this is minus 2 by 3 to the 3 3 is the next uh, a minus 2 by 3 a minus 2 by 3 a therefore for the curve for the curve x equal to f of y the radius of convergence is the radius of curvature the radius of curvature is rho equal to 1 plus dx by dy square whole power 3 by 2 by 
d square x by dy square d square x by dy square and the entire this one is evaluated what point a comma 0 at a comma 0 this implies rho at a comma 0 is equal to 1 plus what is dx by dy what is it is 0 dx by dy is 0 this whole power 3 by 2 by this is d square minus 2 by 3a minus 2 by 3a so this is the value minus 3a by 2 minus 3a by 2 is the answer this is one model problem and uh, take another one find the radius of curvature of the following curve find the curvature and the radius of curvature let us see this problem radius of curvature curvature and radius of curvature of what is the curve let me take uh, simple one okay whatever it is x equal to a cos q t y equal to a sin q t at uh, t equal to pi by 4 at t equal to pi by 4 okay and what is this one parametric form solution x equal to some phi of t y equal to phi of t what is the formula what is the formula first let us calculate uh, curvature see always remember rho stands for radius of curvature radius of curvature and what is meant by curvature actually what is curve radius of curvature inverse of curvature so what is curvature actually curvature k equal to 1 by rho curvature k equal to 1 by rho remember this now for parametric form what is the formula yesterday class uh, where is it yeah for parametric for a parametric curve for a parametric curve x equal to phi of t y equal to psi of t f of t or g of t the radius of curvature is the radius of curvature is what is the formula rho equal to x dash square plus y dash square whole power 3 by 2 whole power 3 by 2 by x y double dash minus x double dash y x dash y double dash x double dash y dash this is the formula for radius of curvature in parametric coordinates now let us calculate x dash y dash and so on here what is x equal to given as x equal to a cos cube t and y equal to a sin cube t a sin cube t so what is x dash x dash is nothing but dx by dt so this is 3a cos square t and cos t derivative cosine t derivative minus sine t next one x double dash is also required so let calculate here this is d square x by dt square okay uv method uh, minus i'm taking this is okay minus 3a cosine square t into sine t first this part derivative this one one term this one uv method minus 6a cosine t and the cosine t derivative this one and sine t this is constant plus now minus 3a cos square t and sine t derivative cosine t sine t derivative cosine t and actually calculate these derivatives at what point t equal to pi by 4 t equal to pi by 4 let me calculate y dash y dash is 3 3 what is there is it yeah 3 a sine square t cosine t next what is y double dash this is u this is v 6 a sine t into cos t into cosine t plus 3 a sine square t into minus sine t minus sine t now 
calculate 1 by 1 at a t point at a t at a t equal to pi by 4 at a t equal to pi by 4 what is h dash minus 3 a cos pi by 4 1 by root 2 square is there therefore 1 by 2 and this is 1 by root 2 so this is minus 3 a by 2 root 2 first one and x double dash Three root two. Next x double dash. Mm, this is this big expression, right? So this is minus six a one by root two minus one by root two one by root two. Next minus three a. This is one by two, and this is one by root two. Then what is after simplification? This is equal to minus into minus. So plus six a by 2 root 2 2 root 2 right minus 3 a by 2 root 2 right so i can take under and like 6 a minus 3 a this is 3 a by 2 root 2 3 a by 2 root 2 x double dash value next coming to y dash coming to y dash y dash at t equal to pi by 4 what is y dash 3 a 1 by 2 1 by root 2 3 a 1 by 2 1 by root 2 so 3 a by 2 root 2 y dash next y double dash what is y double dash uh, this is first term 6 a 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 6 a uh, 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 next uh, 3a 1 by 2 3a 1 by 2 minus 1 by root 2 3a 1 by 2 1 by root 2 so what is this 6a by 2 root 2 minus 3a by 2 root 2 so this is 3a by 2 root 2 so double derivatives are 3a by 2 root 2 yeah uh, and uh, y dash is 3a by 2 and x dash is minus 3a by 2 root 2 therefore radius of curvature rho at t equal to pi by 4 is equal to right what is the formula x dash square plus y dash square whole power 3 by 2 by x dash y double dash minus x double dash y dash first one x dash what is x dash value minus 3a by 2 root 2 2 root 2 this one square plus y dash 3a by 2 root 2 whole square this whole power 3 by 2 by x dash minus 3a by 2 root 2 y double dash 3a by 2 root 2 next minus x double dash 3a by 2 root 2 y dash 3a by 2 root 2 so denominator minus minus so this is equal to uh, this is 9 a square by this is 4 2 8 plus 9 a square by 8 whole power 3 by 2 by this is minus uh, 3 3 9 9 9 18 18 a by 2 root 2 18a by 2 root 2 so what is this final answer this is 9a square 9a square sir 18, 18, yeah. 18a by 8 yeah 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 wait wait 8 right 18a by 8 correct this is 9918a square by 8 i can write 2 q whole power 3 by 2 into okay minus here 8 by 18 it is 18a square sir in denominator there 18a square right any more a square so what is this this is uh in ratio 18 power 3 by 2 right this is a by so 9 by 2 square total answer huh? Uh, sir, 18 uh, 2 cube cancel it. 
oh, oh. This is 8 means 2 cube, no? Uh, 18 by 8, 9 by 4. 18 by? 18 by 8, sir. 18 by 8, 2 cube 9 by 4. 3 by 2, right? Uh, whole power 3 by 2. Uh. So, 9... 9a by sorry 3a by 2 whole square right away 2 to cancel whole cube right away. Answer in the minus 3a by 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 into a a unta than put a a unta the yes sir minus 3a by 2 this is rho this is radius of curvature radius of curvature and what is curvature therefore curvature k equal to what 1 by rho so this is minus 2 by 3a minus 2 by 3a this is one model problem and next one hmm. sir what is the meaning of radius negative radius negative Radius negative means uh, it will be on the another theta. See, when theta equal to, see, take this problem. For example, uh, just take a note. If I write r equal to a cos theta, right? Okay. In yes. polar coordinates, this is the line, initial line, theta equal to 0. This is the pole, r equal to 0, and theta equal to 0. And here, this line is theta is pi. And theta is pi by 2, like this, right? When theta equal to 0, what is the value of a r? A. a. A means on the line theta equal to 0, take some distance a. This is point a. Okay. This is a. When theta is pi by 2, what is the value? 0. When theta is pi by 2, what is the value? 0. 0 means it, the next point is here. When theta is pi, what is the value? Minus a. Minus a. Sir. So my r equal to minus a is there now. That means it's a value a only. Quantity is a, but it is on the same distance on the line theta equal to pi, like this. Oh. Got it? Yes. That is the representation of negative radius. We have to put on the corresponding line theta equal to alpha, something. Okay? Oh. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Next one, uh, you try this, this is assignment, find the curvature, curvature and uh, radius of curvature of first problem, x square plus y square equal to a square at any point x, y at any point x, y. Second one, x equal to a into t minus sin t, y equal to a into 1 minus cosine t at t equal to pi. Third one, r equal to a sin 2 theta at theta equal to pi by 4. And the fourth one, r equal to a sin theta plus b cosine cosine theta at any theta at any theta these are simple problems okay you can solve these problems and uh, next uh, one more concept at the origin we have seen the uh, radius of curvature at the origin see one problem fine the radius of curvature radius of curvature at the origin radius of curvature at the origin for the curve for the curve uh, y power 4 plus x cube plus a into x square plus y square minus a square y equal to 0 a square y equal to 0 solution
yesterday we have seen radius of curvature formula when curve is passing through origin and uh, x axis is tangent at that point similarly curve is passing through origin where y axis is tangent at that point like that okay now let us see this problem uh, do you know how to calculate tangent at the origin tangent at the origin anyone if equation is given in the given equation, dy by dx at 0 comma 0 tangent at that is slope no equation i need equation equation of the tangent in the given equation intermediate maybe it may be there but in curve tracing chapter it is there what is that logic see remember this in the given equation equate equate the lowest degree terms equate the lowest degree terms lowest degree terms to zero lowest degree terms to zero gives gives tangents at the origin tangents at the at uh, the origin and uh, here what is the lowest degree term here lowest degree term here the lowest degree term what is the well, lowest degree term is what this is y power fourth degree third degree this is second degree this is also second degree and this is first degree so what is the lowest degree term minus a square y equal to zero means y equal to zero y equal to zero is nothing but what this implies x axis this implies x axis is the x axis is the tangent at origin tangent at a origin this is the value for example here for example uh, lowest degree term one is a square y another one is for example a square x then both terms are there then if i equate it to zero for example this is plus then you will get y minus y plus x equal to zero a square common this day y equal to x that means at uh, x equal to at origin y equal to x is the tangent at origin only this y equal to x is the tangent like that just uh, to get the idea just equate the lowest degree terms in the equation to zero that gives tangents at the origin so here in this problem we are getting y equal to zero therefore x axis is the tangent at origin okay now what is the given equation y power 4 plus x cube plus a into x square plus y square minus a square y equal to 0 a square y equal to 0 and what I have to what is the formula since x axis is the tangent x axis is the tangent at origin what is the formula of radius of curvature the radius of curvature is rho equal to the radius of curvature is rho equal to what is that limit formula x square by 2y as x tends to 0 as x tends to 0 is it correct uh, let me check once again x tends to 0 x axis is the tangent x square by 2y right okay therefore uh, and uh, uh, what is this Therefore, uh, in the let us say get the terms x square by 2y in the given equation. x square by 2y terms in the given equation. One can write at origin means passing through origin. Uh, this is how to write. Here x square is there. Right? I need x square by x square by get this term into in the equation in the equation automatically you will get row value see how it is possible uh, i need x square by y here already x cube is there so i can write x square by y so divided by y divided divide equation by y then what i'm getting this is y cube plus i will write like this 
plus a into x square by y plus y minus a square divided by y equal to 0. Now, what is the value of x square by 2y? We have we have limit x square by y as x tends to 0, y tends to 0 is what? Now, 2 row, 2 row, take this as 1. Then, at 0, 0, 1 implies this is 0, y cube 0. And this is 0 into x square by y value 2 row plus a into this is row, sorry, 2 row plus this is 0 minus a square equal to 0 minus a square equal to 0. So what is this becomes 2a rho equal to a square. So what is the value of rho a by 2? This is radius of curvature is the is the radius of curvature radius of curvature just short notation this is one model the same next again one more question uh, find rho or radius of curvature at the origin at the origin for the curve for the curve uh, y minus x equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square plus y square solution. Now here by equating what is first question? First one we have to find the tangent at the origin by equating the lowest degree terms. The lowest degree term degree term to zero we have in the in the given equation you write in the given equation by equating we have what is the lowest degree term this is two this is one plus one two this is two this is one and this is one here minus is there right therefore what is the lowest degree term y minus x that is equal to zero that is y equal to x that is y equal to x therefore y equal to x is the tangent at origin is the tangent at the origin which is tangent at origin which is which is neither x axis nor y axis neither x axis nor y axis third case i told you here uh, x axis is tangent at origin one case y axis is tangent at origin another case another one passing the curve is passing through origin but neither x axis nor y axis is the tangent at origin okay then what i told the procedure third case put put y equal to px plus Q x square by 2 by using Taylor series yesterday I told you and so on in the given equation in the given equation then put y equal to p x plus q x square in the given equation what is p you know here what is p p stands for y of 0 y dash y 1 0 and Q stands for Y20. Okay. D square Y by DX square, like that. Now, if I in the equation, if I substitute this Y equal to PX plus QX square and so on, what is the equation? Y minus X equal to X square plus 2XY plus Y square. Wherever Y is there, substitute this one in terms of X. So, what is the left side? This is PX plus q x square by 2 p x plus q x square by 2 and so on minus x minus x equal to x square plus 2 x into what is this y p x plus q x square by 2 and so on plus y square plus y square what is y square p x plus q x square by 2 and so on this whole square whole square now 
if I want to simplify this, this is mm, p minus 1 into x plus q by 2 x square and so on. On the right side, on the right side, see, this is important, x power 1, x power 2, here, here also write like that, start with x power 1. This is x square, this is also x square, this is x cube you will get, here also whole square is there, therefore you will get x square. So, there is no x power 1 term on the right side. Coming to x square terms, okay, let me simplify first. This is x square plus 2p x square plus q x cube and so on plus p square x square plus q square x power 4 by 4 done okay and here only one two terms are there that's enough no need of remaining x power 1 x power 2 quotients are there so on the right side if i take x square quotients common uh, x square quotients common 1 plus 2p plus p square 1 plus 2p plus p square into x square done plus here also there will be one 2ab term what is 2ab term p q x cube you will get so here you will get q plus p q into x cube and so on and so on now equating quotients of procedure this is when neither x axis nor y axis is the tangent at origin equating coefficients of coefficients of x and x square on both sides like the similar powers on both sides see in this expression this p is unknown and q is unknown two unknowns are there so i need how many equations two equations that is why i consider only equating quotients of x and x square x and x square two quotients i'm getting two equations in terms of p and q okay now x power one quotient on the left side is what p minus one on the right side is what zero on the right side is what zero this is x power one quotients next x square quotients x square quotient on the left side q by 2 on the right side what is this yeah 1 plus 2p plus p square 1 plus 2p plus p square two equations two unknowns from this i'm getting p equal to 1 and uh, here what is this becomes p equal to 1 means this q by 2 equal to p equal to 1 means 2 plus 2 4 so q equal to 8 q equal to 8 that's it therefore what is the radius of convergence formula radius of curvature therefore rho equal to 1 plus what is the formula 1 plus actually y1 square whole power 3 by 2 by y2 here i told you what is p stands for y1 dy by dx and q stands for y2 d square y by dx square d square y by dx square therefore this formula i can write in terms of p and q as 1 plus p square whole power 3 by 2 by q. So, what is this? p value 1. So, this is 1 plus 1 whole power 3 by 2 by q value h. q value h. This implies rho equal to 2 power 3 by 2. 2, 2 power 3 by 2 by 8. Nothing but a root 8. Huh? Is it correct? root 8 by 8 1 over root 8 2 cube 8 1 by 2 correct right 1 over root 8 this is the radius of convergence radius of curve convergence uh, next one mm, solve this this assignment based on these problems find a row radius of convergence at the origin at the origin for this problem 2x power 4 plus y power 4 plus x cube plus y cube 
plus 3x square minus y square plus x equal to 0. Second one. 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube plus x square minus 2y square minus 5y minus 5y equal to 0. Just I am giving answer. This is one. First one answer is mm, 1 by 2 rho equal to 1 by 2 second one answer is rho equal to 5 by 2 rho equal to 5 by 2 and next one uh, in polar coordinates okay let me solve one problem in polar coordinates find the radius of okay this one simple mm. in polar coordinate already we did know in polar coordinates also no parametric we did in polar coordinates yeah write this problem find the radius of curvature rc i am writing radius of curvature of the cardioid of the cardioid C A R D I O I D D I O I D cardioid R equal to A into 1 minus cos theta R equal to show that the radius of curvature uh, varies as A. Question is in a different manner. Show that. Show that the radius of curvature at any point at any point of the cardioid r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta varies as under root r nothing but proportional proportional to rho is proportional to square root of r we have to prove and uh, see this is the cardioid r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta do you know what is cardioid Anyone? No, sir. Hey, Ante, aha, make a heart stroke rather than cardiologist. The study of heart. Ah, right. So, see what is the shape of this cardioid? This is initial, this is pole, r equal to 0. And this is theta equal to 0 initial line. This is theta equal to pi line. And uh, this one, theta equal to pi by 2. And in curve tracing of polar coordinates, one matter, one no, first point is symmetry. In symmetry, the first point is in the equation of the curve. In the equation of the curve, if I replace theta by minus theta, theta by minus theta, if there is no change in the curve, yes, it is true now here. When I replace theta by minus theta, the curve remains un unchanged then curve is symmetric about initial line curve is symmetric about this entire is called initial line okay and just uh, roughly i'm sketching this when theta equal to 0 what is the value of r when theta equal to 0 what is the value of r 0 0 0 ha ah, right see this is theta equal to 0 line and uh, where is r equal to 0 here this is the first point right and when theta equal to pi when theta equal to pi what is the r value Two 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 okay just wait let me draw a big line this is theta equal to pi 2a so on the line theta equal to pi you put 2a distance 2a distance and when theta is this uh, this line is rotating this one it is moving like this from theta equal to theta equal to pi when theta equal 0 it is 0 but when theta equal to pi its value 2a then you make uh, and one more point when theta equal to pi by 4 when theta when theta equal to pi by 2 what is the value theta equal to pi by 2 a a, a. a. 
Ah, uh, see, this much distance is two a. So a means somewhere here, right? Done. And when theta equal to pi by four, the value may be somewhere here. Then join all these points. Just roughly, I'm telling. Join all these points. You will get a figure like this. Okay. And what I told, if I replace theta by minus theta, the curve is symmetric about. Uh, yeah, curve remains unchanged when replaced by theta by minus theta. Curve is symmetric about initial line. This is entire initial line. So nothing but mirror. So what is the shape below? It's also like this. It's also like this. This is the shape of the cardioid. And same logic. If I write r equal to a into one plus cos theta. R equal to a into one plus cos theta. When theta equal to zero, what is the value? Two a. Now two a is here. Zero is here. When theta equal to pi, what is the value? Zero. So shape of the curve is like this. Two a side is like this. This is another cardioid. A into one plus cos theta. Right. Now previously I think uh, we got this problem. Sine theta. Right. This is theta equal zero. Theta is pi, and this is theta pi by two. When theta pi by two, what is the value of r? Zero. When theta three pi by two, what is the value of r? One one two a. So two a distance is here. Then you draw the shape like this. Two a work ki ila bend je andi. Then curve is symmetric about theta equal to vertical line. Symmetry property. This is cardioid. This is our required cardioid. Cardiologist did not do that, right? Oh, it takes parsi thelo din lo matram bada do. E cardioid lo matram pillal bada do. Din lo bade danger. It's a danger zone. Okay. Now, what is the problem? R equal to a into one minus cos theta. Show that radius of curvature. And what is the formula of in polar coordinates? The radius of curvature formula in polar coordinates r square plus r one. R one stands for dr by d theta, three by two by r square plus two r one square minus r r two. Here r one is dr by d theta, and r two is d square r by d theta square. And what is our curve? A into one minus cos theta. R equal to A into one minus cos theta. So what is R one? Dr by d theta cos theta sine. So A sine theta and R two d square R by d theta square. This is A cos sine theta. Is point is given? Point is given? No, not given. Therefore, substitute in R row. If I substitute in row, uh, one by one, both. Uh, that's how it is. Let us calculate numerator and denominator separately. Then substitute in this one. Now r square plus r one square, r square, a square into one minus cos theta whole square, r one square, a square sine square theta. So this is a square plus a square cos square. Minus two a square cosine plus a square sine square. So clubbing these two a square cos square and a square sine square, this is a square plus a square minus two a square cos theta. So two a square is common one minus cosine. One minus cosine is nothing but what? One minus cosine. Sorry, unna niya nala. Next one. Uh, What is this denominator? R square plus two R one square. R square plus two R one square minus R R two. R square. A square into one minus cosine theta whole square. Two R one square. Two A square sine square minus R A into one minus cosine and uh, R two A cosine. This is a square, a square cosine square minus two a square cosine theta plus two a square sine square theta 
and coming to here minus a square cosine theta minus minus plus a square cos square theta so a square cos square a square cos square and 2a square right so a square plus 2a square you will get here and uh, mm, minus minus 2a square cosine theta a square minus 3a square cosine theta so 3a square is common 1 minus cosine theta right therefore substitute these values in row row equal to 2a square into 1 minus cos theta whole power numerator value by denominator value this one 3 a square into 1 minus cosine theta okay so this is what 8 root 8 a cube 1 minus cosine theta whole power 3 by 2 by 3 a square into 1 minus cosine theta so this is minus 1 1 by 2 you will get root 8 is a 1 minus cosine theta minus 1 and 1 by 2 1 by 2 right and this is equal to uh, and i can write this as what is r value r equal to a into 1 minus cosine theta right so this is root 8 oh, by 3 is there root 8 by 3 a and what is 1 minus cos theta value from this r by a so this is r by a whole power 1 by 2 so this is root 8 a by 3 root r this is the row value nothing but this is a constant so rho is proportional to what square root of r rho is proportional to square root of r this is the proof clearly it is given show that radius of curvature is varies as square root of r nothing but both are proportional to each other okay this is today's class i will stop here okay your uh, assignments those who want to submit online you submit by taking my email that kolloju uh, those who are coming from monday onwards they can submit on next week all of you you can submit next week maybe offline or online choice is yours